And now we have Sean Doherty, uh, director of the YMCA. Hi, Sean. How are you doing? So what Thanks was your first me. job, and how old were you? I was 16 years old, and I was uh, kind of a busboy, kind of cleanup guy over at Mountainside Outing Club. How'd you get that first job? I got it as a referral. Uh, my uncle had been a uh, bartender there, and he referred me to the employer who was looking for somebody to hire. So, Was it what you expected it to be? It was. It was. I had gone there for a couple of outings before, so I'd known about the... Uh, um, the area, the, the business itself, uh, but definitely working there was uh, was long, hard hours, and um, I, I worked hard as a 16-year-old. Were there any youth that you worked with? Yes, yes. Uh, I had a bunch, about probably a good dozen or 15 folks my age uh, or a little older that I worked with, um, and we uh, worked in teams, and we would work um, uh, 3,000, 2,000 people outings. Different businesses would come in, and um, we would take care of them for the entire day. Do you still keep in contact with any of the other youth that you work with? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Uh, they moved on and uh, uh, probably are bigger, better places than I am. But no, no, I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place. What's your most memorable experience? Um, most memorable experience was uh, not only just meeting the people, but... Um, uh, one day during one of the outings, I think it was a Pratt & Whitney outing, there was an, uh, an airplane that had crashed, a smaller airplane had crashed uh, near the out, outside, um, the outing club. Um, pilot was okay, but um, it was definitely a, a showstopper uh, and um, kind of an exciting night. So, so what, do you wanna, what did you want to be when you grew up? I had no clue. I probably still don't, um, but actually what, what, what I'm doing now uh, is very rewarding. Uh, each day is not like the last, uh, so it's very exciting. Uh, I get to work with a great bunch of people, um, a lot of YMCA members, get to talk to each day, um, see the, the difference the, the programs are making uh, on the families and the kids, so it's uh, very exciting. What exactly do you do now? I'm, uh, I guess, your you're, uh, local Y guy uh, over at the Wallingford YMCA. Um, I'm the executive director. We have about 240 employees. We have programs throughout the town. Um, two major locations, one at 81 South Elm Street and one at 8 North Turnpike Road. And we run programs from child care to swim lessons to youth sports to teen programs, um, but also adult programs as well. And we have uh, our cancer survivor programs, uh, plus uh, diabetes prevention programs that we're launching in September, uh, our fit to go programs, our open bound programs. So we're a lot of programs going on um, throughout the year. Are there any lessons you take from your first job and you still apply to for your current one? Lessons from the first job. The hours are about the same. I worked about 10, 12 hours a day there um, on the weekends. Um, got to talk to a lot of folks uh, while I was there. And um, that same kind of engagement is what I do each day. Um, so I've kind of learned from there. Uh, also to work hard and uh, learn. Uh, from people so if you could describe your first job with one word what would it be it was fun it was fun and um, as I mentioned earlier uh, I learned a lot uh, worked hard learned how to work hard as well uh, was on my feet all day so uh, and I would put in over 40 hours in the weekends so, um, with all of the outings that took place at the mountainside out club since you described it as fun what was the most fun you've had on your first job most fun I had on the first job, um, probably just getting to know people, and um, we, of course we got free food and uh, free uh, free soda and all that kind of good stuff. But um, probably the biggest thing was um, getting getting to talk to people. And if you had to do that job over again, would you? I would. I would. And do you have any tips for people ha get, trying to get their first job? Be open to anything. Um, when I was 16 year old, basically, um, anything that came around, I would do. I wasn't picky. Um, also to learn when you get in there, um, learn how to do everything from the ground up. Um, that's why I've learned also from the YMCA. Uh, I was a lifeguard, taught, taught, uh, aerobics classes, uh, helped out in the childcare room. So basically kind of learn everything, uh, especially when you're uh, just starting off. So thanks, Sean, for being on the show. Oh, nice having you. Thanks a lot.